This is A game, fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform. Much love, man. And we back with another video. And in this video, I just want to let brothers know, man, with the current resurrection of the red pill man in mainstream media right here on YouTube, shout out to our brother, Kwame Brown, man, for busting through the internet and showing brothers, man, that at the end of the day, you could still be a man, a red pill man, and be accepted, man, and get people to listen to you. Understand that the world wants to hear from the red pill black man. Understand that our community and our people need us. See, this is what this is Kwame Brown's message to brothers. And we need to understand this and not just sit up here and look at this as just some YouTube shit that we get views off of. Or just something that we do to make money because it's the popular thing to talk about because it's a trend. No, we have to psychologically ingest this thing. And we have to begin to actively put things together physically and do things, man. But we have to do it as a collective. We have to do it as like-minded brothers. See, brothers, it's time to get off the monkey-ish. It's time to stop acting like monkeys out here, brothers. Stop sitting around here dilly-dallying, thinking that's the cool thing to do. Sitting here making, you know, stupid, entertaining monkey content. Thinking that's going to do something for brothers. Thinking that's actually moving the needle. Thinking that's actually doing business and, you know, all this sucker stuff that y'all like to talk about. Trying to disguise brothers just behaving like monkeys. Because that's really what it boils down to at the end of the day. That's what you see with the um, All The Smoke podcast. It's just monkey-ish. That's what you see. That's what you see going on with Charlemagne and Envy. That's what you see Stephen A. been doing for 20 plus years with ESPN and his job being a sportscaster. These guys are professional paid monkeys. And this type of stuff, being that these guys are rewarded and put on these platforms, it incentivizes and it tells other young brothers that this is the way you should go. And we have to understand, brothers, it's time to get off of that. Because time and time again, we see all they're going to do is use us and throw us away. They don't have our best interests at heart or in mind. We are slaves to these people. We are seen as cattle to these people still to this day. This is what Kwame is trying to get brothers to understand outside of cracking jokes. See, the jokes is cool. See, the jokes is nothing but him defending himself. Because according to everyone, he's this big, mean, intimidating guy. So he have to crack jokes to defend himself. But I hope you brothers are really understanding and digesting his message, man. 
And his message is letting brothers know they get off the monkey ish. Stop running around trying to be a pet. Stop running around trying to get an apple from the teacher to put in your mouth. Black male agency is real. Black male agency is something that can be done. And we're in a time where we don't have to be afraid to do it. Why is it still cool in 2021 for black men to behave like monkeys? For black men to get paid off the behest of hurting other brothers. Why is that still the, the vibe? You know how y'all say now, what's the vibes? Why is that still the vibes, brothers, amongst us? To sell each other out, to shit on each other to, for a check. Why is that still the thing to do? Hmm? But then y'all the same dudes that want to turn around and march against police brutality. But then you in alignment with master to get paid to pay your goddamn bills. See, you can't do both. See, this is what I've been saying right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV for the longest. We are our own agency. See, you can't, you can't go to them and get your money and get your checks and, and run their narratives for them because this is what Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson and them do. They have a whole production team. They don't pay for that production. That production is, is brought to you in part by a company. These guys have a script that they read from. This is not their shit. See, even though YouTube pays me, at the end of the day, this content is mine. This production is mine. I'm just using YouTube's platform. You see? But all of this other shit is mine. See, that's the difference. See, you can't go and get paid by them, but then you want to still ask them to stop killing your children. To stop harming your children, to stop miseducating your children. See, you can't do that. See, either you either either you fighting for better or you're not. Either you're okay with things being the way they are, or you want things to change. And if you want things to change, you have to change. Your mindset on how you live your life and how your family is going to live their life has to change. Your value system has to change. So you can't be Mr. I want to go to the Gucci store. But then think you going to um, make some change with the stop with police brutality. Or with, or you gonna make some change with the disenfranchisement of black men when you taking that same money that you could be putting into other organizations to fight against what you saying you fighting against? You could take that Gucci money and put it in there. And I'm not telling brothers not to wear Gucci, but understand what you're funding. You see, because do you know? Would Gucci invest their money in? No. But we do know that a lot of things that we spend our money on, those same companies invest in black men's imprisonment. We do know that. So this is the stuff that we've been saying on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. This is what Kwame Brown is saying. You dudes want to sit around and look goddamn cute all day.
This is why y'all say, oh, dudes is hating. No, dudes are not hating. Dudes are pointing out what's real. Because a lot of you dudes want to be the boy that cry wolf. This is what y'all do. Y'all want to cry about when shit get real, but then y'all cater to the y'all cater to the chaos. You cater to the chaos. So either you're happy with things the way they are, or you're gonna fight for change, man. But either way, man. We're going to have to get up off this monkey-ish. Because it's only going to continue to cost us. Because look how this shit backfired on Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes. They looking stupid. And they looking so damn stupid that now they trying to actually get Kwame to come on the show. To get the numbers. Because that's what the producers are telling them. Yo, we need this guy. We could break the internet. He, this guy just broke the internet. Just like how a couple of months ago, Kevin Samuels broke the algorithm. What do you think Kwame Brown doing? Kwame Brown just broke the internet. So they're trying to, now, what Steven Jackson and them is trying to do, Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes and, and their little team for their show, because they're embarrassed for acting like monkeys and getting exposed for being um, pet monkeys for master. They trying to spin it around and make it look like, oh, you could just come on the show now. You know, you, you know, you could just come on the show and um, we could settle it there. No, nigga. No, I'm not going to get on your show and then you get the views that I could get. And have it for myself and do and do right with the money instead of you goofies using me like y'all been using me for years. See, Kwame ain't stupid. See, because master always try to find a way to get to get you back in line. So what they tell him to do is they told him to get on their Instagrams and try to bait him to come on the show to have the discussion, to try to have the argument in the debate live on their show. And see, Kwame not stupid. And he not stupid because he red pill. He, he, he already aware of the game. He already know that he dealing with two monkeys that's being controlled, that's being told how to move and what to say. See, because when they tried to answer by themselves, they put their foot in their mouths. Now they're trying to double back around and get them on the show to try to save face. Because now, with everybody seeing this, who really want to go on the show now? Who really want to go on the show? And people are going to watch their views drop and people are going to talk about it. See why? See why it's good to get off the monkey ish. See, there's no more dilly dallying with this. E either, either you're here or you're there. Period. Because this new energy that's coming in, man. <laughs> It's making way. And trust me, it's not, it's not going to be what you think it's going to be. Because Kwame's going to do something with this. So this should show, brothers, man, it's time to get off the monkey-ish. Because that's not going to serve us no good, man. The only way we're going to survive out here is if we understand the motto, we are our own agency. So make sure y'all like, share, 
and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you notify every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Get down in the description box and join this A-game lifestyle. This is a lifestyle promoting optimal health for men. It's a lifestyle promoting optimal health for men. Get your A-game right now by clicking the link in the description box and at your checkout, type in promo code SHEEP in the number 10. That's SHEEP in the number 10 to get a discount off on your purchase. I appreciate y'all for tuning into the video. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace. When I'm training for professional competitions, men and women always ask me for advice. To women, I say push yourself harder than you ever have before and go beyond your comfort zone. Focus on your goals. Men, if I am willing to push myself to become Mr. Olympia in 2022, then I only have one thing to say to you. Bring your A game. Here we go again.